Hello everyone, Tim with Fred's Appliance Academy here with another awesome video for you today. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to make your own mini fuse breaker that you'll use to bypass any fuses, door switches, or any thermal device so you can test a unit properly to figure out what might be the cause of the issue that's going on. Now, all the uh, items that we're going to use it for this breaker are in the description, so you can see everything we got. It's all from Amazon, and I'm going to take you through them right now. So the first thing that you're going to actually need is this 15 amp fuse breaker. It is resettable, so if something should trip, you're not replacing things. You, all you have to do is disconnect it from the circuit and reset the breaker. Uh, try to figure out what's going on. What you also need is th this alligator wire here. Both ends have an alligator clip on it to help uh, prevent any shorting to the cabinet. It'll stay nice and tight on that uh, component that you're bypassing. And then a piece of heat shrink. The tools that are going to be needed is a pair of wire strippers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of scissors, and a heat source. I'm going to use a butane uh, little mini torch here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, when you get your fuse breaker out of the box, you're going to want to look at the screws here. Two Phillips head screws that you're going to want to loosen up so we can get the wires uh, wrapped around it. So I'm just going to take them out. Don't take them out all the way. Set that to the side. The next thing you're going to want to do, take your wire uh, with the alligator clips and I want you to stretch that all the way out. Uh, to where they're even and then you're going to take your wire cutters <clears throat> right about the middle point there and you're going to cut. So when you're done with it you should have two separate wires. The next thing you'll want to go ahead and strip these wires about three quarters of an inch back so you have enough wire to go around the screw. And once you have the wire stripped, you can see that they're stranded here. So what we want to do is we want to make that a solid piece. So we're going to go ahead and twist this wire. And you'll do that to both. Once you have those twisted, take your piece of heat shrink, fold it in half, and use your scissors to cut that heat shrink. Next, before attaching the wires, you're going to have to place your heat shrink over the wire because we're going to use this to cover the terminals. Once you have your heat shrink on, go ahead and wrap your wire on the breaker clockwise. If we go in a reverse direction, the wire is actually going to work itself out. So we don't want to go counterclockwise. We want to just go ahead and wrap this clockwise. And once we have it wrapped, we're going to go ahead and screw that down. And I like to try to keep my wires nice and straight so that the heat shrink can fit right over the terminal. And you're going to tighten them down nice and tight. Take your next one, same thing. Wrap it around clockwise. And tighten this wire down. Once you have the wires tight enough, go ahead and pull your heat shrink up over the wire terminal there, covering the terminal and the wiring on both sides. Make sure you get it over, you're not just scrunching it up. Now you want to make sure that you're using heat shrink that will fit right over these terminals just tight enough uh, that they're not too sloppy and they're not too tight. Uh, the size I have here is nice and perfect. It doesn't matter whether you use a uh, red or a black or a yellow, just as long as you have some type of heat shrink. You're then going to take your heat source and you're going to wave the heat source around the heat shrink. Don't focus it in one area because you will melt the wire or the heat shrink itself. All right, once you have that done, you're going to let it cool down. Don't tug on the wires yet. What you can do at this point is if you have a breaker that came uh, that the nut is all the way up, you want to go ahead and take it all the way down and then follow with the top here. And that there is your mini fuse breaker. 
So the mini fuse breaker can really be used in any application like we said door switches thermal fuses regular fuses it's not to be left on the unit um, when you leave that home you need to take that fuse breaker with you don't leave anything bypassed for the customer just correct the issue in hand that you need to do with the proper parts um, if you really en enjoyed this video you liked it please like uh, subscribe look in the comments and everything look for all the parts needed and we hope you enjoyed it uh, I'm Tim with Fred's Appliance Academy, where we're training tomorrow's technicians today.